In this video, we're going to take a quick look at seven different ways that you can count in Excel. The first way we can count is to use a function that counts all the cells that have numbers in them. So here we have five cells. One has text, one is blank, and there are three with numbers. In this cell, I'll type an equal sign to start a formula, and then I'm going to use the function count. C-O-U-N-T, open bracket, and then I'm going to select all five cells and press enter, and it counted only the cells that had numbers. The next function that we can use will count cells that contain any kind of data. So here I'll type equals, and then the function count A, open bracket, select all the cells, press enter, and now the count is 4 because it also included the cell that has text in it. Sometimes we need to count blank cells, so there's a special function for that. Equal sign, count blank. Open bracket, then select all the cells again, press enter, and it only shows 1 because there's only one blank cell. If we want to count cells that match a particular criterion, I'm going to use a count if function. So in this example, I've typed the word pen here, and that's what we want to count. So equals count if, open bracket, then I'll tell it where I want to count. So I'll select all these cells again, comma, and I tell it what to look for in those cells. So I'll click on the cell where I typed pen, close the bracket, press enter, and it found four cells that have pen. So one, two, three, four, and it did not count the ones that have pen as part of the text, only where it was an exact match. The next way to count is if we want to look for this word as part of a string. So last time we just counted pen, this time we would also like to count pencil because pen is part of that text. So we're going to use count if in this cell equals count if open bracket and I'll tell it what cells I want to count in comma we're going to use a wildcard character, which is an asterisk, and I'll put that in double quotes. To join that with the text that's in cell B12, I'm going to use an ampersand. Then I'll click on the word in B12, another ampersand, and another asterisk inside double quotes. Close the bracket and press enter. And now there are six instances, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it counted this gel pen, pen, and pencil anywhere it found the text string P-E-N, upper or lower case. Next we'll look at counting with multiple criteria. We would like to count cells where there is a pen as the item and the quantity is greater than 10. So I've put those criteria here. My formula will go in this cell I'll type in equal sign. We're going to use count ifs this time. Open bracket. I'm going to tell it where the criteria range is to look for the first thing. So in this column, I want it to look, comma, and it should look there for the criterion, which is pen. Another comma. And now it should look in this column, comma, and we want it to be greater than or equal to, so in double quotes, I'll put greater than, equal to, double quote, use an ampersand, and then click on the cell that has the criterion for that group of cells, close the bracket, and press enter. So it found two rows, and I highlighted those, so it does give us the correct count. And the final method we'll use is counting rows in a filtered list. So in this cell, we've got a simple count. It's 
counting B2 to B10 where there's a number. In this cell I'm going to use the subtotal function. It will ignore any rows that are hidden. So we'll see a different count if we start filtering. Equal sign, subtotal, open bracket, and we could use a count that will count any rows visible after a filter, but if we scroll further down we can also use 102 which is a count and it will also ignore any rows that we've manually hidden. So I usually use this one. I'll double click, comma, then tell it where to count. So these cells, close the bracket, press enter. And now if I filter this column, I'll hide the binders and only show pen and pencil. The count continues to count everything and the subtotal only counts the visible numbers. For more Excel tips and tutorials and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.